Hey everyone, on today's video, we are going to review the House of Marley Get Together Mini Bluetooth Speaker. So why am I doing this? A, well, it was a really good deal on Amazon, so that's really good. B, I love to pop these things that come out of the box. So I wanted to order something from Amazon that came with these things in the box just so I could pop them for you. And then C, you know what, I thought it'd be a really juicy video to do, so that's why my juicer is up there. So first thing we gotta ask ourselves, is this really good? Is it worth the money? Is it even, you know, whatever? Well. First of all, let's look at the speakers. It's got two two and a half inch woofers and two three quarter inch tweeters. And what really sold me on this um, was actually just the way it looked. I really, really liked the way it looked. On the back of the box, you can see it's got a bamboo front, uh, very good lithium battery. It's got this exclusive rewind wrap. I'm gonna talk more about that. Uh, it's wireless up to 15 meters. Uh, yeah, it comes with the charging cables, blah, 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 comes with everything, That's uh, that sounds good. So anyway, the recycled paper is really good because it's very, very friendly that way. And the bamboo is also one of the best woods to use, so that's great. I got a little bit concerned about the rewind fabric because I thought it was recycled pets. Uh, and I didn't want to buy anything that had recycled pets in it uh, because I mean that would make people feel bad and I have pets So I don't want recycled pets, but then after doing more reading It's just created by transforming plastic now. This just isn't any type of plastic. It's the plastic uh, That are really from bottles that fill the landfills and stuff like that So they do a great job on that getting rid of those old bottles. So that's awesome Anyway, I don't want to go too much more over that But one thing that I did find very interesting was that the speaker housings are actually made from recycled plastic as well So most of this thing is made from recycled materials, which is great because how you get recycled garbage to look this good when you recycle it, it's just amazing. So that is a feat in engineering itself. So here we go, one of the reasons I bought it, it just looks so good. And the other thing was this radiator on the back. That's really cool and I haven't seen uh, a radiator like that. Anyway, it's got a charge out for your phone, charge in to charge it micro USB and a jack for 3.5 millimeter uh, outlet if you wanna use a cord. Uh, from your iPhone. Once again, here's this radiator. So we'll see when we uh, play music and stuff like that if the radiator actually works well. But the important thing to note, uh, and what I'm going to do in this test, is I'm going to play different types of music and I'm going to compare it with uh, with a different speaker and I'll do a back and forth how I'm recording it uh, with a Yeti microphone. This charger that it came with is actually, it's good because it's a universal charger. It'll work in all different countries. So this is good because if you're going on a vacation, these chargers are not cheap and you don't even have to bring your get together. You can just bring this charger and you can charge anything that takes uh, a micro USB. So that's awesome that it comes with, um, I guess a worldwide charger that you can use anywhere. I mean, I was actually really impressed with that. Definitely bonus for that. So how big is it? Well, it is almost four inches tall. There you can see about uh, 95 millimeters in height uh, from the side. I guess the depth, if you wanna measure it there, it's almost three inches, just over 70 millimeters. And if we look at the width, we can see here it's just under a foot. Here, I'll back it up for you just a little bit. There you go. You can see we're just under a foot. So let's turn it on and we'll see how it sounds. Uh, you'll see there's a, a female voice. I'm just turning it on right now. Powering on. Ready to pair. And you can see that blue light there. It's on all the time when it's paired. The blue light will stay on all the time. Uh, I'll just shut it off very quickly. Powering off. And I'll plug it in for you and you'll be able to see there's a red light. So here you go, as promised, just plug in the micro USB into the rear here and you will see Presto changeo, there is the red light. And you can actually play it while it's being plugged in, uh, so your battery will obviously last longer, and then you would just have the blue light and the red light together. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna demo it for you. I'll turn it on, and then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and forth between another Bluetooth speaker so you can hear the difference. Powering on. So I've just turned it on. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I got another speaker here. This one is just uh, a red, I don't know even the model of it, but anyway, it's a Bluetooth speaker and it's a little bit smaller. And what I want you to do is hear the difference. So I will go back and forth between different types of music recording with the Yeti microphone and you be the judge for yourself.
Okay, so the next test is to just show the get together mini just by itself. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show it to you uh, playing with a chord and then playing on Bluetooth because you know what, it does sound better with a chord. So the one thing is I do wish the Bluetooth processor was a little bit better in this thing. So was it worth it guys? Yeah, I do think it was really worth it. Uh, I paid just over $100 Canadian and I think if you can get it for that price, just over $100 Canadian, I think you'll do just fine with it. The build quality is fabulous. Uh, it weighs a fair amount. It's really good. I do wish the Bluetooth sound quality was a little bit better, but I only noticed that degradation in the higher frequencies on Bluetooth. Uh, when I was using a cord, I didn't notice that at all. The one thing I can say is the sound pressure level is really good. So it definitely can get a lot louder than that other speaker. And I wish I could have showed you that. It's just, it's kind of really hard to do it when I'm recording it and showing it in YouTube because uh, you're only gonna listen to it as loud as you're gonna listen to it. So that's the problem we run into there. But in terms of sound quality, hopefully uh, you guys can get a good A-B comparison. I just wanted to, uh, to show you that. Now my approval rating, 76% uh, and it's basically because of the Bluetooth. I just wish it sounded better on the Bluetooth. I think there's room for improvement, but if you can get it for what I paid or just over, like I said, just over hundred dollars Canadian, then I think it's a deal. I think you're, I think you're definitely not overpaying for it. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, anything like that, leave them below. I answer everything uh, over and out and I really hope to see you on the next one. Thanks everyone.